How do you do? here, and today I am playing. Oh, no, let me start it. Today I am playing Jetpack 81 from JR Todd 1982. Tit, dead already. Uh, JR Todd 1982. I have to thank Retro Gubbins for sticking this on his YouTube channel, which I where I found a video, I should say, and a listing, and Paul Farrow for helping me compile the listing into a program because I had no understanding. How I should put this together. I understand basic, but no understanding how to compile at all the ZX61. There's a link to both things, uh, Retro Gubbins and Paul Farrell's website, in the description. Now, this is based on Jetpack from Ultimate, uh, which oddly came out in 1983. So I'm not sure why this is 1982. But it's based on Jetpack from Ultimate. We play a Wii uh, character. As you can see, I'm floating around. I have at my ability the ability to. Uh, go left and right, which is 6 and 7, ascend and descend, which is 8 and 5, and shoot my laser. <sighs> Crashed again. Shoot my laser at the little dots, which are a pain in the arse. Uh, laser, 9 is the laser. I can't remember my fingers, I'm too busy looking. We also have, counting now at the top, fuel. It's obviously a timer. We have to pick up, uh, our fuel is counting down, we have to pick up fuel pods go, which are numerically numbered, as you can see me floating around. Picking up the fuel pods from 1 to 5. Each level is randomly generated, however. So the platforms where the fuel is going to be may change each time you come on. So that's it. That's This is it. it, it it's rather splendid. Uh, it's basic graphics. Keep it to the uh, ZX81 Sinclair basic graphics set. And we've got some uh, numeric characters and alpha numeric characters, I should say. So, as I like to say, it's keeping it real. Game over, man. Look, different looking level already. So, it's keeping it real. I like it when it occasionally keeps it real. I do like my high-res, pseudo high-res and UDGs. But I also love it uh, when it keeps it real. Like so, like we're playing now. This is fairly tricky. I'm telling you, I'm telling you this for nothing. This is fairly tricky. When you go up like that, if you... Oh, when you go up like that and then dr drop like a rock, it's difficult to get control of your little, little jet man. When you keep your finger too long on his jetpack. Oh my time. Oh, sorry. My fuel in my jetpack is isn't half dropping like a rocket over there. Not like a rocket, like a red, bo red balloon. Thinking of it. Dropping like a lead balloon. Look at that. I've got to get free. I'm not doing too bad here. Still got three lives left. I've got three fuel pods. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, I just lost a life. But that was all right. Still got the other two fuel pods to drop in there, so that's okay. That's... I might do this. Two lives left. Two lives left. I've only got to get the fifth one. Oh, fifth one. Is it? Oh, no. One life left. Come on, Bill. Oh, that was some weaving. There was some weaving going on there. Cutting it fine. Cutting it fine. Yes. Okay, that's a nice bonus. Right, I wonder if we can get... We've got one life left. I wonder if we can get another rocket built. See if we can get another rocket built. Mr. J.R. Todd back in 1982. Certainly built for him splendid. Though I'd like to guess it was 1983 really. When Jetpack came out. Thank, thank you, Retro Gubbins, for sticking the listing on. And thank you, Mr. Paul Farrow, for building it up for me yesterday. Right. Number one's in. Can I get to number two without dying? No. Yes, 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 yes. Thought I'd bit the bullet then. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're all surrounded it. Look at them. They're all full stops. You can shoot. Oh, knackered. Never mind. TTFN, ta ta for now, cheerio on, bye bye. Remember to like and subscribe, and remember to look in the description at the links for other people's websites, Paul Farrow's, and the original video. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.